Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I saw Beth and Stephanie Ross and some more. Oh, children, watch where you walk, where you stand, where you sit. Oh, children, watch where you walk, where you stand, where you sit. A few blocks from the Arkansas State Capitol, in a neighborhood once notorious for gangs, drug wars, and murder, something wonderful is happening. The crime rate has dropped dramatically. Young people are off the streets and in the classroom. Crack houses are being demolished and new businesses are moving in. Day by day, the landscape is changing, physically and emotionally, on and around Martin Luther King Drive at a small, historically black college that has gone from near bankruptcy to a new birth of promise. I'm Dr. Fitzgerald Hill, president of Arkansas Baptist College. And every day on this campus, we grow hope. Watch where you walk, where you stand, where you sit. Be righteous in all your ways. Two homicides last night drove Little Rock's homicide rate to a new record for the year. At least one is believed to be gang related. I'm Dave Whitman. When you live in a neighborhood where homes are boarded up, we, we know that that's a draw to criminal activity narcotics use, prostitution, things like that. And if you're living next to that, you know, you, you lose hope in your neighborhood because you see the criminal element coming into your neighborhood. When I drove down here in January 2006, I drove around the community, around this campus about seven times to make sure it wouldn't fall down because it was just that deplorable. First they said, well, we're broke, we don't have any money, we don't have a president. I said, I don't want, any, I don't want your money, I just want your support. But what you saw was that continually windows were being broken out of it. It was just left here, unmanned. You can see the grass and stuff right here, unkept. And so I asked the city to go ahead and knock it down so we'd have two vacant lots and hopefully we'll be able to acquire, uh, make this into parking for our new building. I knew in order to change the attitude you had to change the perception of the community. And uh, with the process of, of, of trying to upgrade and take out the blight, the first real true act came when we purchased the car wash. The car wash, uh, called Wheels and Grills at the time, was uh, one of the most dangerous places in Little Rock. So we changed the name of it to Auto Baptism, you know, to kind of give us a, a play in with, with our school. As we move forward, we here we want to announce our two new openings in our community. Uh, as you see right now, our Yancey Soul Food Restaurant and our new Garden of Eden Fresh Market, Fresh Produce Market that will be run by our students as our, part of our School of Business, our Service Learning Laboratory. When I graduate in May, I want to leave. I want to leave part of my name here so I can come back and be an alumni and give back to my school and help build this community to be the best it could possibly be. Well, the neighborhood today is a neighborhood where people have hope. People realize that, that there's value in the area and there's value in people's lives. Right. For a long time, this has been a community where it has been far simpler to fail than succeed. Whatever it takes has become the prevailing attitude to try and keep students from dropping out and falling back into a hopeless, dead-end world. I was on drugs. I was a crack cocaine addict and, and an alcoholic. My pastor told me about Arkansas Baptist, and Arkansas Baptist allowed me a chance to come. They gave me a chance because most colleges wouldn't have given me a chance. I couldn't read nor could I write or spell when I started college. I had two professors that actually left campus and would come home, come to my house and tutor me because they saw something in me. They knew that I wanted to learn. I graduated in May of 2012, graduated with honors. I can now write, I can read, I can spell. And if I couldn't do those things, I wouldn't be in grad school today. <laughs> and I just want to just say, Thank you, Dr. Hill, and keep on doing what you're doing. He's also started a program where nonviolent offenders can go to school through a partnership with Arkansas's Department of Corrections. When I go to prisons today, I see tremendous potential 
being incarcerated that just need another approach, or another way, another chance. Our approach is to invest in that human capital, uh, uh, create educational access for them that leads to success, which most time people don't want to be involved with those students. Last year, we had a total of about 20 students. And of those 20 students, we do have two that are still currently enrolled at Arkansas Baptist College. But we have several that are enrolled at other institutions and succeeding. Kenneth Bauer was among the first group of 10 students to come to ABC straight from prison. A lot of us came from drugs, violence, stealing, theft. And now all of us are going to be chemical engineers, psychiatrists, you know, they're all got future great plans. And if it wasn't for Dr. Fitzhill in this college, none of us would have succeeded and we'd all be back in the jail system. So he really changed me and nine other guys' lives permanently and forever. I see Arkansas Baptist College as a way to meet the needs of our society, to meet the needs of our city, to meet the needs of our nation in serving a group of people that oftentimes never get the opportunity or, or overlook or nobody wants to serve them. When you make things better for somebody else, you will make things better for yourself. Have a goal to go be a blessing to somebody else. When you do that, you won't have to look for blessings. They will find you. Watch where you walk, where you stand, where you sit. Be righteous. Be righteous. Be righteous.